lowered the plift block down of the crucible down about three inches. Uh, also, I'm going to have to make a gasket or use some ceramic fiber to seal the seal the lid so that I don't lose heat out between the lid and the body. Uh, that's one reason the tin on the outside gets so hot. This is what come out of the crucible from me trying to melt yesterday. That uh, mess right there, I, uh, it wouldn't pour. It's too cold. <coughs> it's all water knotted up. As I tried to rake it out, it wouldn't rake out. Anyway, I <coughs> bumped the crucible on the ground a couple of times and it come loose, come out of the crucible. But as you can see, as you can see, it's got, every time it does that, it pulls a little bit of that silicon carbide out. Uh, I might try to remount it. I don't know. If I do, it'll be in a, it'll be in a big pour because of that carbide on it. I almost messed up on this and you can see it in the video. I had to, I'm in a process of almost ready to pour it and it dawned on me that I hadn't put a weight on the crucible, so, or on the flask. So that's where you see me stop and set the crucible down and get, you have to have everything ready, lined up to do what you're gonna do whenever you're messing with this stuff. It's, you don't have a lot of time in the crucible as far as, because it cools off so fast in small batches. And it's, uh, but it can be fun. So anyway, till later, bye.